I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it for 50 but let's see how it wants to act see how the you got the on the 10 minute how we got a straight bar going down that's that's basically what I was talking about now it took a little bit longer but I mean we're, we're not talking about how long so much it takes we're talking about once it makes a move what does it do and it just started its move and look how far down it's going okay I'm increasing it to 50 ticks taking it down to 18 44 18 is now the exit for 50 ticks I think it's probably going to make it there's no guarantee um, sometimes what does happen uh, n you don't need a break even stop on this because sometimes what happens is is it'll come all the way back up into the next code and then continue to go down but this thing is not going to whipsaw like that and go all the way back up we got this thing nailed down mathematically right here we got it pinned against the wall mathematically look at the daily look at the 10 minute um, and we're behind a code 2 right now we've got this thing pinned down mathematically this is the kind of trade where you don't want to we're in a very high percentage mathematical trade right now very high all we need to do is be patient and wait and let it drop down now it may pop back up for a little bit don't get scared It's a, it is a possibility it could even pop all the way back up again into the next code like I was saying it does happen in fact um, the way that oil used to trade it used to do that all the time all the time it used to do it a lot but it, you gotta remember though back then we were going for 100 tick trades not for this uh, 50 tick trade here and if we were, it would it would it would have come down and hit our 50 tick exit a lot of time, and then come went all the way back up again, and then double top basically up there, right at our entry, and then come all the way back down again for 100 ticks. That's how much it used to move. Would it go down to 40? Let's hope it doesn't pop back up too much before it makes a move down. But it might. Not going to play a break-even trade on it, though. All it's going to do is come up and hit the break-even trade and then come all the way back down again. Let's see here. Just calculating how far the code has gone again. Entry would be at... 4478 ideal entry and yeah it's still only down to 40 so still 30 38 ticks it's only good for 38 ticks so far this code probably going to be good for 60 ticks or more today so let's call it's good for 40 it's good for an extra 20 so that brings it down to 20 44 20 44.20 and I'm at 44.28 on the exit so I'm right I'm right in there right where I should be leaving a little bit of a buffer that keeps the mathematics very high now it may go down big today you know and I'm gonna miss it but You don't make a living at this by going for home runs or grand slams. You make a living by hitting nice, solid trades and doing it with very high mathematics and then upping your contracts.
it's definitely moving around a lot. Even though, if you look at the one minute, it's like going sideways, but it's definitely moving up and down pretty good. What's probably going to happen at some point, it's going to all of a sudden start making its move down again. and then go and break the 40 and then make another you know another move down and then it may you know at a later point make another move down but we're just trying to hit the exit and get out call it a day call it a week let me see where's the bottom at the bottom's at 630 Okay, here it goes. Okay, it's not coming down that fast. See, it's not coming down that fast off that break right there. I'm just going to let it go for the for the 40 ticks. Take a nice, solid 40 ticks on this trade. Some of you, they're good traders. You could try to go for more. You might be able to get it. I just would like to teach all of you how to play the market high mathematics. That way you can up your contracts, but you can use your own skill and everything to get more if you're good at it. I, I think you have a pretty good chance to get more. but. It may bounce, you know, so don't don't hold me to that. I'm just taking the 40 here. Okay, we're in a zero zero trade, a zero zero right here bar. And you just need to stretch out a little bit more. I'm not gonna get out of the trade here because it should be able to make this 40 ticks. I need the ask to come down to 28 to get out though. Just because the price hits 28 doesn't mean I'm getting out. Okay, price just hit 28, I'm not out. So you need the ask to actually hit. Right now the bid is, is up higher. Come on, oil. I'm sure some of you are still going to hold on to this because you seem to be pretty good traders. Um, you know, I would... I honestly don't know what it's going to do you know it could go down 50 60 it might even break the bottom of the of the 10 minute i mean you know this thing you know you never know what it's going to do um but like i said uh, uh you don't really need to hit big trades you need to hit solid trades for and up your contracts if you can keep getting them right over and over again and with the code 2 with the breakup technique you can do it Even if you just hit 10 ticks, you could still make great money with 10 contracts, you know. But hit 20 ticks, you make you know, 10 contracts, you're making really good money. Hit 30 ticks and, you know, hit 40 ticks, you're making bank with 10 contracts. So, you know, it's, uh, it's profitable. 
Okay guys, I am going to call it a day. We could take another trade later, but on Friday it's going to, you know, it's already moved so much and everything. On Friday it might die down. It doesn't look like it's dying down here on Friday, but we never know how much we're going to get out of that trade. And plus, the other thing that makes me a little hesitant about taking that trade is remember the other day? It didn't go anywhere, only went 30 ticks, went down 200 ticks, and we tried to bounce it, go long. It didn't go anywhere, we, we had to take a loss on that trade, like 8 tick loss. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that it will work today, but I knew this one would because it's the main code. So, anyway, this is more normal. This is what you see me do on YouTube <laughs> over and over again. So anyway, I wish all of you a happy uh, weekend, and I will see you on Monday. And yes, we are going to do Mondays. We're going to do Mondays, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, uh, that's very, very, very good. Now it's going to go down another 50 ticks, and you'll be kicking yourself going, my, why didn't I hold that thing? <laughs> but when you start uh, uh trading more and more contracts, you'd be like, ah, you, you just look at the money that you're making and go, ah, that's all I need, take it, you know, and if you can keep hitting that over and over and over again, you're good, but hope, but as you can see though, you can see for yourself, oil's starting to move, I mean, here we are in the middle of the summer, and it's Friday, and this thing's starting to move, if this holds up, we will definitely increase our our, our exits instead of going for just 40 we'll start hitting 50 60 and then if it keeps going we'll hit 80 you know it just depends on what the market's doing and we'll, we'll increase our exits accordingly I used to have a hundred tick exits every time and you know it's not good for that right now but it may be good for that if again so whatever it looks like it's good for is what we'll start doing anyway I am gonna get going have a great weekend everyone I'll see you on Monday Enjoy your weekend. Okay, I am done with the trading in the trading room. We hit 40 ticks today. Good solid trade. I could have hit more. I got out at 28. It went all the way down. I, ri I was going to go for 50. I would have got out at the 18 right there. So I would have made my 50 tick exit. Uh, one guy did hit 50. Uh, Constantine, he'd hit 50. Let me take a look. I think he just held it. He was like, I'm going to go for it. He got 50 ticks. He said, I'm going to go for it. And he hit it. He got the 50. Now it's bouncing back up. I don't know what it's going to do from here. It may bounce back up again. It may continue to go down. I don't know. But I just know that I was able to hit a 40 tick trade and take it take it off the table and I'm done for the for the day and for the week okay everybody I am gonna go it's getting late here it's Friday night nine o'clock Friday night I still got time to uh, watch a movie so I will see you next week everyone have a great weekend and uh, hope to see you in my trading room happy trading out there <laughs>